Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. It's a cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are, then. What is it? I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, a, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this, ever. His life depends on it. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. You wanted everything just to go on and flow on because it was convenient. Convenient? You got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like living like this. 
What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. You're truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing. But when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No, this is different. You saw it yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters, and your electric toothbrush. You name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, Fiend. 